and welcome to my channel. Alright, now this is something that can be delivered to Australia. Amazon do actually ship it here. They charge something like $42, may or may not include shipping. And I happen to be talking with Wolfpack on one of her lives. And she and I, we were comparing prices and she said that they were much, much cheaper in the States. And maybe we could give an, a bit of an experiment and I could pay her back to buy them in the States and ship them to me. So that's what we did. And I threw in some extras as well. So these are available. You can get them from Amazon. And this is the first time I have had a Doris or Elizabeth Ward storage a sturdy lid. Now I have seen if you're in Sophie Beauty or Moon Zero they are starting to sell these now for not cheap um, but they are they may not have the Elizabeth Ward name on this probably not because Elizabeth Ward would be the registered name but they do have them as a generic China brand. This is the assorted size so I wanted these minis, gosh they're tiny, and they fold up, let me show you close up, so there's a mini, little tiny tiny tic tac, very small, I will do a comparison size shortly, that clip is on the outside, that's kind of cool, and then they slot in just nice and neat okay the labels that they have for them have a dink in them where do they go so they've got nail bits the dink is for the front I guess. You couldn't fit those labels on the little ones though. Just not possible. You could fit them on the middle size one, but not on the small. But I like how they've got the um, kind of gaps so that you can put your finger into those. And then you've got the monster Tic Tacs, which is quite a large container. It's got a scratch. Open. Hmm. Can't feel it. That's okay. Um, large, large tic tac. Okay. Let's see some comparisons. Um, none of these are probably terribly full anymore. Three tens got a lot. Okay. All right. These hold three bags of two hundred. Um, I know this because this is one of my favourite kit ups. So this, let me give you a comparison close up. Okay, so they're about the same height, but there's probably two of these into one of these, and they're wider again than the um, small. <coughs> Excuse me. Where am I going? I'm going back to the top. All right, so we've got a kit. We've got a box. We've got nearly full. So that's kind of three bags, give or take. That's hardly anything. Okay, you saw me do this with the Harbour Freight that I got from Mrs. Coffee. Um, that is half a container, not even half a container. Look at that. Hardly any in that. Um, so tons and tons of space. All right, so let's see how ridiculously big these are. All right, look at that. Doesn't, <laughs> barely even covers the bottom of the container. So that's three bags in there. So you're talking, I don't know, two huge bags from DAC would probably fit into there. So from 
a usage point of view. Okay, so they open at the sides, so even though there's the clip at the front, they open at the side, they fold back. Um, yeah, there's my little container. They're going to pour. Let's see what I'm doing. Right. Full to the brim, pretty much. Uh, that's quite insane. So, I have... Two of these, I have one in the assorted, so I have one of these in the tiny. Now, let me do some number crunching. Somebody recently I saw on Facebook put their sparklers into one of these kind of kits, and I think I'm going to do that with this. Whether or not I can do it with the tinies. I'm not entirely sure, but I want to be able to see my sparklers. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I've got the tinies and I've got the assorted. So you've got the large, medium, two rows of medium, two rows of small and two rows of, or one row of tiny. Um, nice big flat containers. There's 82 pieces in this. In the tiny. Now it says removable. Where did I put my scissors? Back. It says removable label. Let's see how they've kitted this tiny. Have they given the same labels? I think they have. Yeah, they have. They've given. The same labels, the big labels, even though tinies won't accept them, which is interesting. A little bit short-sighted. Removable bonus labels for tracking purchases. Um, I guess you could fold it down underneath the bottom. So it's one tray, one lid, 78 containers, two sheets of labels in the 82. Not that I do the bead making. Um, then you've got these clips. So let me put this back. Let me put the tray. So that lid is soft. Oh, that's that's it. That that's quite nice. It's a nice little mechanism. And nice and compact. Very very thin. So there you go. It's beadstoredsolutions.com. These are copyrighted to Elizabeth Ward. Um, but as I said, China have stolen the item and are now producing it without the Elizabeth Ward labeling. Whether the patents run out or they just don't care because it's China, I don't know. I have a little miss struggling to get up. Come here, miss. We? Oh. What do you want? What would you like? What are you doing? Look! Look, it's this! She's gone all quiet. It'd be time to read her story. While I've got her on my lap. I'll give her some lollies and read her a story. <coughs> All right. Um, yeah, so this was something that um, Wolfpack helped me to get. She also got me these. And I will do another video of s'mores. And uh, I'll see how they go. All right. Um, thank you so much, Steph, for throwing these into a huge box for me. <coughs> and shipping them across. Um, and uh, helping me out. It was... Uh, it was an experiment with shipping. Shipping cost a stupid amount of money. Um, I would probably have um, come out just as um, well, if not better, buying straight from Amazon. But I wouldn't have got graham crackers and I wouldn't have got my co-tarts in there. So 
it was a once off. Um, it was something special and I had um, somebody who would forward for me and that was the main thing. So um, very much appreciated the um, the chance to have a bit of a experiment I guess with the store prices um, that um, Wolfpack was able to get these from from possibly Hobby Lobby and um, the the difference yeah with Amazon I don't have Amazon vouchers or anything else I'm not a huge Amazon buyer so I'm not kind of up there with how it all works um, and certainly I'm not a prime buyer but I have considered whether or not it would be worth it it might be worth me actually planning my Amazon purchases doing prime buying it all getting the free shipping in next to no time and then cancelling that subscription so we'll see how we go but for now it's it's not really relevant um, as I say, not really a big Amazon buyer, and um, I've checked out a couple of my uh, fellow YouTubers who now have Amazon stores, and some of the items still aren't shipping across to Australia, so I'm a bit kind of hampered with what can come over here, so it's, it's a little bit frustrating in that everything won't ship, so it is what it is, I guess. Hi, I'm just doing a quick insert. I had a bit of a, I don't know, what, is this a blonde moment? I found out where these go. These stickers? Look, you guys might already be all over this. They fit on the bottom. And they fit on the bottom of every one. And it's like, yeah! <laughs> I feel stupid. But anyway, they fit on every box. They're not where you can see them and for my purposes of being able to read what colour sparklers they are I'm going to have to put another sticker on but yes they do label I can put some details on and it will be in much more detail. I feel stupid. Back to the video. Yes. Alright I will go I will go and play with my storage and I have marshmallows and I have chocolate to make s'mores I bought the cheesecake stuff so this weekend I'm making cheesecake and um we'll see how the graham crackers go in another video check it out all right thank you for watching bye for now